It's incredibly funny. It is set on the SS Italian castle. We are traveling from Southampton to New York, and we have four days in order to finish our musical. We are writing a musical comedy. Uh, I star in this with, um, uh, with brilliant cast. It's a brilliant cast. Izzy Van Ranwick, Matthew Cottle plays my husband, my touring husband, I call him right now. He's writing the play with him. You may know Matthew from Game On or The Windsors. Mm. He's incredibly of funny. But it's uh, it, this if you've not if you've seen a lot of Stoppard, um, this is a play that's not done very much. You know, last time it was performed was '84 at the National. Wow. So I call it like an undiscovered Stoppard. Little gem. Um, yeah, and it's. It's really been a lot of fun. We're at the Theatre Royal Windsor this week. We're in Guildford next week. That's sold out. No! Oh, yes, I'm in a hit! I'm finally in a hit. <laughs> but then we go to... We tour up, we're in the, we're at the Lowry after that. We're in Guildford, we're in Bath. Okay. Um, and it's just a joy. It's a real, real joy. And, it uh, must be great for you as well, because obviously, you know, Christian Clark, huge hit in the standards when you were playing him. Okay, then so. you had such a lot of trouble, haven't you? I think the last time you were on, you were celebrating 300 days sober. Must be now. Yeah. Um, so you've been through all of that. Yeah. And sort of to come and have these great parts coming to you must be fantastic. Do you know the thing is, I think anybody that suffers from addiction, you know, mm. it's about not wanting to feel, it's about not having a confidence. I probably would never have taken on Rough Crossing before because you want to stay in your lane, you want to stay in your comfort zone. Mm. Me getting well uh, has given me a confidence in myself that I didn't have before. I know outwardly people will probably look at me and go, oh, it's John, you know, he's probably too confident, probably likes himself too much. You know, that's all bravado. It was all bravado and it's what I used in order to cover up how John. I actually felt. Now, you know, mm -hmm. I'm able to take on these roles, take on these, uh, you know, different challenges in my life I would never have done before because I finally have found some peace. And that is yeah. wonderful for people who maybe go through what you went through to know that yeah. there is that at the end. It's not all a struggle. You come to... Listen, you place. can do it. I'm, yeah. I hate to say it, but you just got to say no yeah. to yourself. You know, you can dress it up however you want to dress it up. You know, I'm not saying that addiction isn't hard. That's not what I'm saying. But we all have the power within ourselves to change and you have to do it. There is no waving a wand. There's no easy way around it. Mm. You just got to say you no. Went, you went through this, though, John, didn't you, when you were doing MasterChef? Mm. I mean, which yeah. was such an epic moment for you, because it's an intense experience to go through. Food, for me, now, it has to have a narrative. It's like storytelling, just like acting. So the food I cook is, I like to call it heritage food. It's from where I'm from. So, you know, it's all the custard tarts, it's the hot pots. When I went on to MasterChef, I had no idea it was going to turn into that. I had no idea they were going to ask me to make a cheese and onion tart. I had no idea I was going to remember mum picking me up from ballet, walking down the road to go to Stones' Bakery to pick up that cheese and onion tart to eat it. But that's what food does. It evokes strong memories, mm. strong so right. feelings. It's like a piece of music. Mm. It's like going to see a film mm. or a play. You remember childhood. that. And, you, and that's, for me, what food is.